Hey, you guys, just jumping in before we jump in to say just because the title specified iPad, it doesn't mean don't apply this anywhere else. If you have Clip Studio, a device that supports it, and the apps I suggest to you, you should have no problem following along and applying this. Okay, peace out. Hup. Here are the things you'll need to start off. Number one, an editing software. I personally use iMovie because it came for free with my computer. Uh, Windows should have the free program video cut or video edit installed. If not, go ahead and download it from the Windows App Store. iPad has iMovie and is also audio slash video editing friendly. This tutorial goes over this, so don't be worried about why I enunciated that. Tablets and computers should also be able to download these programs as long as they're compatible. Number two, you're gonna need your audio file. So whatever it is that you want to put into Clip Studio. For this example, you'll see me going onto YouTube and searching up the uh, iconic Cleopatra was black meme uh, that has really ruined an entire nation. So that's what I'll be using. The third thing you're gonna need is just a way to move your files between your devices. I have Apple products, so I have AirDrop. However, you can use anything that is convenient or works for you. I have emailed myself between my own emails. You can use Dropbox, you can use Messenger. Heck, you could like stick it on a USB port and whatever gets it from one computer to the next. Now, obviously you will also need Clip Studio Paint. You can animate on pretty much every version, I'm pretty sure. I have Clip Studio Paint X version two. So this is the most recent updated Clip Studio Paint. I have it on my iPad with the yearly subscription, so I get all the updates and I get all the new versions automatically. The only problem with the basic Clip Studio Paints is that you can't animate past 24 frames. So if you wanna make a long animation or anything past like five seconds pretty much, you're screwed. <laughs> All right, now let's get into this. We're gonna start with the first and most important thing, finding your audio. Whatever you want, a meme, a video, scene from a cartoon, a movie quote, find the thing that you want and make sure that it is copyright free. So that means you are free to use it, you don't have to worry about getting sued, and that's the most important thing at this point. So let's get into how I get my audio and put it in to iMovie. So as you can see, the first thing I do is I pull down the upper right corner and turn on screen recording for my iPad. Do this on any device that you have screen recording for. Every device should have a version of screen recording, but uh, if you don't, just do a simple Google search. Google will show you how to screen record or install an app for it or what have you. Now you see that I turn my volume 75% or full to the max. The reason I do this is because it is way easier to edit and lower volume and record between and over at a higher rate of volume than it is to deal with grainy, low volume audio that you can't really do anything with. So I always keep it at 75% or more. Screen recordings, once they've been stopped on any Apple device, are automatically saved to your photos. As soon as you open the iMovie app, you get to start a new project. I'm gonna click movie in the bottom right corner, and then it opens your media files automatically. I'm gonna close this and show you how to start from a new Canvas perspective. I'm going to click the little plus icon. I'm then gonna click video recently added, and then I'll find my video in the top left under today. Once I've added my video, I trim out and cut all the unnecessary parts of the video, like the screen recording beginning, the end, and anything else that I wanna edit out. I fix any choppiness, or if I've started the video at an awkward moment and I don't have the right volume. I do this video editing on the iPad, but I can also do it on my computer. I'm gonna save the video now that it's done and title it something similar to its original title, just so I remember, whoops, that's Japanese, just so that I remember what it's called when it goes onto my computer. I'm going to click this little middle share icon and then hit airdrop to my iMac. That's how convenient and simple that is. I welcometh you to my iMac screen where I will now be opening iMovie so we can continue. Pardon me while I just quickly do this. Yep, just like that. Now we're going to create new it's that big one, and then movie again. And then I'm gonna click import media. That's right, click it. 
Thank you. Thanks. We're going to find the thing that you just transferred, click import selected, and then drag and drop into the editing section. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that the iPad iMovie was good for editing, but not good for audio. And this is why. With your computer iMovie, you can detach audio. And when you export it, you can export just the audio, which is what I will show you now. But on the iPad iMovie, I can't seem to figure out how to do that. So that's why we take this extra step to swap between the devices. You're going to right click your video and click detach audio. And now the video and the audio are separate from each other, which is exactly what we want. Once these two are separated, do not delete the video. The audio in iMovie has to be attached to something, a photo, a video, etc. So leave these two as you see them here. In the top right corner, I'm clicking the little share icon and then export file. You're going to name your video and then you can describe it if you like. Now you see the word format. I'm going to click it and here's where it gets interesting. You have the option of video and audio or audio only. I personally went ahead and tried all four of these file formats and exported them individually. And for the iPad, specifically for Clip Studio Paint, no matter what everyone told me, which is use WAV files, I found that MP3 was the way that Clip Studio needed the audio to be. If I inserted a file with any other format other than MP3, Clip Studio Paint actually wouldn't play it. You wouldn't be able to see the sound waves like you can see right now on the screen in front of you. And I couldn't edit it, I couldn't move it around, I couldn't do anything with it. It was like a little blank slot in the animation. But now with MP3, I fixed that. Choose your save location after exporting. I'm picking my desktop just because it's easier for accessing. I then find the file, right click, share, and airdrop it back onto my iPad. Airdrop then automatically asks me what program I wanna open the file with, and I do click Clip Studio Paint. In the top left corner, click File, then Import, and then Audio. This automatically opens your files. I'm gonna click on my iPad, then I'll click the Clip Studio folder, and there's our audio. I'm just gonna select it, and you can see that Clip Studio puts a little speaker next to it. I'm just gonna highlight it yellow so it's easier for you guys to see. Go to Window and then Timeline, and now you can play your audio and get to animating. If your audio is cut off, don't worry, the whole clip is there. All you have to do is pull out these sections that you see my mouse is highlighting in red. It just means that it was shortened, but the whole clip is there. And now you have the ability to animate in Clip Studio Paint on your iPad with sound. So of course, again, my method can be used across the board with Clip Studio Paint on any device. So as long as you follow the steps of my tutorial, you shouldn't really have a problem. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. I love to interact with people and I'd really love if we could help each other out. If you liked this tutorial, please leave me a like and also make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.